Achieving Phase 4, the removal of the bridge deck structure, required some engineering magic and just a little bit of slip sliding away. Some very smart engineering on Wednesday the 19th created the conditions that prepared the bridge deck to be drawn up on land. Some late stage preparations were necessary under the deck, but everything was essentially in place to pull the deck up onto land. At the appropriate moment, Western Mechanical's powerful Goldhofer module would apply an irresistible force to the structure. This would draw the whole assembly, including the barge, towards the east end. Once underway, the operation went remarkably smoothly. With both the bridge and the barge drawn smoothly to shore, when the carrier beams made contact with land, it was time to begin sliding the bridge off the barge. At this point, it was only prudent to tension up the chains and shackles. It's worth noting that at this stage, the waterway had already opened up, with two-thirds of the bridge deck already ashore. A sustained, steady pool would see to it that the remainder of the bridge came ashore smoothly. With the bridge safely ashore, the beams that had carried it on the barge could be set aside. With their sterling service concluded, the tug, Radium Yellowknife, and her barge, Radium 604, could be released to other duties. At this stage, some of you are probably wondering, but what of the other work on the removal of the bridge? Well, that has certainly not been neglected. Very steady progress is being made on the shoreside structures. We'll continue to monitor it as work progresses. And if you want to stay in touch with developments, please consider subscribing. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.